Many miles today just to be here. So give him some love. This is a man. Yes. That's the point. Good evening, lady. How are you? Is this is this a protest or is this a celebration? It's both. It's both. It's both the protest and the celebration. I like the vibe. You don't know how humbled I am to be here today, really. Really, very, very humble. This turnout is amazing. For a Monday evening, I know people have work to do, families to take care of. This turnout is incredible, truly. Um, many of you, you never knew a time when there was not a mural. Many of you have grown with it. It's part of your community, it's part of your experience, part of your environment. Okay. We undertook that project back in the late 80s. You know, the, the starting point for that work was back in the 80s, in about 1987, 88. In fact, the original members of Central Club will tell you they discussed the need to put something on that wall even earlier. They said, yeah, we have our centre and we need to proclaim, we need to make a statement, let people know we're here. So that conversation went on years before I came on the scene, that's for sure. And then, through a combination of effort and putting together the resources, the project became a reality. And I'm aware that many people really know the full story of the war. And people say, oh, there's Alan, he's the artist. Well, no, I'm the artist, I'm the facilitator. I'm the person who enabled and supported the activity that created that war. It's not my war. You don't see my name written on the wall. Okay, it's not hanging in my yard, I can't take it home, I can't make any declaration about what, whether it should stay or what its significance is. But I can tell you this, we set out to create a monument. We set out to create a landmark to pay tribute to our ancestors, our forebears. Anybody who comes before you is an ancestor. Okay, and they all are deserving of respect and tribute. But our ancestors are with us anywhere we go. And we know that any ceremony we perform, the first thing we must do is to waken them up with the water of our forefathers, the spirit of our forefathers. 
I will ask the elders in the community to drink the bowl of water from the calabash and pass it around. And you'll notice that the wall tells a story. It starts in ancient, Kemetic, now valley civilization, which is not even the beginning, but we wanted to make the point that our history is not just yesterday. It's not just post-war. Our history goes back to the beginnings of humankind. And that's why it starts off. Why are you going to think of an Egyptian? Well, <laughs> the inspiration for that image was Akhenaten, the so-called heretic pharaoh, who proclaimed one creator, one origin for creation, not the multiplicity of gods. So this idea of one god originates in Africa with African people. Okay? So don't be fooled. Don't be deceived. And then the world, broadly speaking, is followed by four. Okay. All right. Apparently, the councillors are coming to receive your petition. Oh, we're going in. Okay. Okay. No, it will take too long. No, 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 no. Come back. I'll tell you what they say, okay? But I know what they're going to say. Because I've already asked them some questions. Right. There's their reply. So let's see. Thank you. James, James Crowell, please. Where are you? Come. Please take the mic. Speak to the people while we go and... Uh, wait a minute. While we'll take, uh, we're taking the petition in now to hand over to the council. So the three... So go... Of course, we understand. Um, and you're going to come back to council, I understand, is that right? Apparently so, yes. yes. So that's 17th of uh, October? October. Yep, yeah, 17th of okay. October. So we're here today to present to you uh, the petition to save uh, the mural. Okay, well, I can only reassure you that the mural, as far as we're concerned, is we're on the same page on that, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So thank um, you. We want to see, and I've, I'm been in touch with the artist. And hope the artist is here. Oh, yeah, that's here. Right. The yeah, that's why I said we've corresponded. Right, sorry, so many yeah, people have corresponded. Yes, okay. sorry. So I hope you'll come back and have some detailed discussion with us when we've yes, done this so survey. That would be, be really glad to do so. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. I will convey the sentiments of your response to my letter. 
Okay, you good. You've received, outside, the letter, okay. received the letter. I have received the letter, yes. Good, it's, good. It's okay. quite reassuring. And from a cultural and art background, I just want to say I think it's an important piece of Reading's history and an important piece of public art. So I really do appreciate your efforts. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you yeah. for, um, you know, uh, inviting us in. And um, we've had a, a very peaceful march. Good. And uh, we feel very positive about the future working with you. Great. Good. 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 Okay, so I don't know where okay. we're going to put this till we can well, get it all... If you just put it on there, yeah, we'll, we'll get it locked in here tonight and uh, register it with Committee Admin, and then uh, it'll okay. be there ready for the 17th of, uh, of October. Yeah, okay, thank, thank you very much. Okay. So, right. I will be in touch. And thank you, to, that would be great. As soon yes. as it's uh, feasible to do so. Excellent. And from my point of view, I'm really now interested, yes, in the preservation of the board and maybe some allied bits of work like it's a new sense that you're tying up, and then beyond that. I'm interested to see whether or not I have the opportunity in 30 years from now to come back for the celebration of a wonderful new centre, a new central club, which is entirely congruent, consistent with the images and the uh, sentiments on the wall, because it will be pioneering, it will be about promoting equality, mm -hmm. resisting exploitation and oppression and so on, and something like Reading, the black community, the wider community can be truly proud of and will hopefully be of national significance. Well, certainly in terms of the mural, that's what we hope. Um, and we hope to work with you on how we can further celebration of uh, black culture because it's, uh, it's it's very important to, to the whole town. Yeah. It's a message about Reading. So. Well, thank you very much for your thank time. You. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Good. I think we've got to start your meeting. I have yeah. indeed, yes. Nice. Nice. Lovely to see you yeah. again. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yes. Nice to, nice to meet you, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. See you later. Bye there. All right. So they accepted the, um, the petition. Yes. Alan said to them, well, we're looking forward to when we have a nice new centre, yeah. a new hub of our own. Yeah. And they made very positive statements. Uh, all we have to wait for now is to see if um, they put their money where their mouth is. Yeah. They have given us a reassurance that the mural is safe. Yeah, but we have to have somewhere to put the mirror. We need the club. Oh, okay. Well, we can address that too. Quote on quote. So we are. We want to see the we paper signed, sealed, and delivered. Signed, sealed, and delivered. I did, in fact, write to the council last week, and she does say, I, I absolutely reject any suggestion that we wish to remove it. In fact, she's saying she's pleased on make contact. They want to explore how we can preserve and maintain the wall. And regardless of the future of the site, the wall's future is assured. It's politicians' words. You still need to come out and celebrate, stroke, demonstrate, to remind people how important this is, what it means to you. So bear that in mind. But I did make the point, fine, I knew this, and it's been restated there, but I did make the point that even when we carried out the project, there was a looming question that came to mind, because as I started to say, we started in remote history and we travelled through time. We talk about a time of African civilization prior to the Europeans. And then the history of slavery and colonialism and neo-colonialism and apartheid and so on. And you can see the various figures there that represent struggle and resistance. That is the key theme of the war. It's about struggle, black people's struggle and resistance against exploitation, against oppression. And you will see that there are international figures, there are national figures, but there are also local figures. And I'm reminded, walking today with you, of a newspaper archive material that we used when we were designing the war, which is the image of the late Jeff Allenby who held a placard, and he just as I marched at the head of the day. Jeff Allenby marched at the head of a demonstration by black youths to tell the council they need to place of their own. Because when they came out of Chain Street, all the approaches they made fell on deaf ears. And it wasn't until people said, you know what, 
we have to get out and tell them we mean business. And that's when Central Club came into being. Jeff Allen, he was at the forefront. He put himself at the forefront. And I think, think tell me if I might, spent a night in jail with his players. But he put himself forward. He was committed. He was also one of the strongest supporters of the Royal Project. He was there every day supporting us, encouraging us. And those of you know that he is since departed. I can't come in. So Jeff is one example why that wall is a very important memorial and a tribute. And that thing is called placard, the Luta continues. That's that's the source, that's the origin of that image. So back to the process of the wall, but you know, it's not just a painting on a wall, there's a whole process. We had a team of workers. We had Kevin Taylor, we had Wayne Frederick, we had Patrick Hawkins, who worked with me as tradies, a team of apprentice rural artists, and then we had numerous volunteers, some of them are around here today, who contributed to the work, who contributed in a variety of different ways. But we went about that project through a process of consultation. I didn't decide that we would be We went out, we actually went out on these streets, into the market, the high street, we went to all the shops on London Road, we went to community organisations, to elders projects, new groups and so on. And we talked to people about what we intended. We showed them the wall and uh, a scale drawing of the wall. We invited them to contribute their ideas and opinions. We went out with video. I still have the video material today. Box of Box, asking people 30, nearly 30 years ago, what do you think should be on the wall? And we took all that on board. But ultimately, and many... White, White folks said, well, isn't that the place black people use? Isn't it black people's friends? So why don't you ask them what they want? If you look around, you can see the work of the artist. And that artist is none other than Mr. Alan Howard. And I'm sure you will agree with me. Oh, Mr. Howard, please. Just let the people see the man that has done the work. The man is ashamed to get recognition for the work that he has performed. This is the man who is responsible for this achievement here on the walls of Central Club. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that you have been hanging around a long time. Uh, the streets are busy, so it is now going to give me great pleasure to be in a position to declare, to declare this mural officially open. Ladies and gentlemen. And ultimately, we took our lead from the black community, and most people said we want something that makes us feel proud, that represents us, that reminds people that we also we have a past, we have a heritage, we have plenty to be proud of and plenty to aspire to. And that's the story of the war. I could go on for hours. I could talk, I couldn't reserve it, about that process of conversation and deliberation and argument about who should be in, who should be out, because it's not, you know, it's not representative. You can't get all of the people worthy of acknowledgement and remembrance onto one board. That's impossible. But it is an indicator you know, it should beg the question and make me wonder about what makes somebody great, what makes something important. People who become part of history, great people, they're ordinary people, just like you and me. You know, it's, a, it's that moment at which they make a decision, they decide to stand for something that's right and true. That marks them down in history. And all of us each day as we get up, we have to make that decision. What do we do today? What do I stand for? What's right, what's wrong? What can I contribute? And you'll notice that there are a number of symbols throughout that wall. Those are called the Dingka symbols, which come from Ghana, West Africa. And the Dingka, each of Dingka has its own proverb, its own meaning. And you know they're the same set of symbols that we're using. Kwanzaa, to talk about the Yuz and Sabah, seven principles. And they are embedded into that design. Principles like Ujima, collective work on responsibility, emotion, unity. Ujima, cooperative economics. Which brings me to towards the end of my walk, don't worry. 
you'll notice that the ball travels through time, and also you'll notice that this, the figures there are mostly very serious. It's serious things, probably. You'll see that at the end, there is a figure of a black woman in yellow with a head wrap, and a child in her arms, and a young man in a suit and a tie. If you look carefully, you'll see these and all the symbols are embedded into those images, into their garments, to represent those principles, those values. Those are portraits of local people also. The woman is a local woman. The child in her arms is a local woman. Must, it must be like nearly 40 years old. Now he's doing it. Um, and you'll see beside it a question mark, and behind that the image of Africa, and then a set of hieroglyphs, just as at the very beginning of the war begins with a set of hieroglyphs, which are actually a psalm, one of our art and psalms. Why is there a question mark? Why is there Africa? What are those symbols, those hieroglyphs? Well, the thing is, you know, we did this linear, this chronological design, and we got to a point where we said, well, shouldn't we pose a question about the future? And particularly when we spoke to young people, many young people said, no, I'm going to think about tomorrow. It's like now, today, I'm just dealing with this. And very few people had a plan, had a vision for themselves, had a definite goal. And we pondered this and we said, you know what, we can't really project the future, especially when the people in the community can't share a vision with us. And we posted that question mark. And then we said, those symbols, I think there's a ballot box, there's a hypodermic needle, there's a handgun, there's a cricket bat, there's a paintbrush, there's a book. These are all tools. You know, we have people who say, oh, now they're painting guns. Oh. No. What we said is, these are tools. Okay? You can use them for good or ill. Okay? And we pose the question about the future. This brings me to my main point. I'm reassured. I know the politicians. I'm reassured not by them, but I'm reassured by you. Because I know you're not going to allow anybody to disturb that wall. It's your wall. It means so much to you. That's secured. The question now is, what about the site? What about the building of which the wall is a part? Because as I say, even as we completed the project, there was this question, well, the outside says this, but what about the inside? What does the inside say? What's going on inside? What are people doing? What do they represent? What are they aspiring to? So now the challenge for you folks in Reading is, and I think that you're very fortunate here because you have a very ambitious and professional proposal on the table which has been presented to this council, which they have not accepted. However, they said you can bring it back. It can be reworked, it can be revamped, it can be represented. I've said to the leader of the council, I hope I will come back as an even older man in 30 years from now, 30 years from now to celebrate your centre. Okay, the new Central Club, a multi-purpose community hub, which is a centre of excellence that reflects your aspirations, your desires, your needs, and hopefully I will stand alongside politicians and technicians and designers and inventors and writers and they will all be talking about yes what that center gave to them to make them what they are so thank you very much i'm humbled to be here today and I hope you have Please put your hands together for the artist, Alan Howard. Thank you so much, Alan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we, we will need to be dispersing very soon, but before we do, um, I've got uh, Councillor Rob Wright here who wants to say a few words. Uh, he's a great supporter of the mural and supports the whole project. Please, Rob Wright. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for giving me the, the privilege of just speaking for a few seconds. Uh, I'm, I'm proud and, and humbled to, to be here today with, with such an amazing crowd uh, on for such an important issue. It's, it's sometimes a depressing time to be a council at the moment. The council's cutting youth clubs, it's cutting children's centres. Uh, it, it's, it's all pretty terrible things. But... The, I think to focus on one of the words that was used earlier, aspiration, and the bid that's coming from the Aspire Group to, to save the mural, and to save Central Club, it, it's a real honour for me as a councillor to support that bid. At the moment, I think... 
Uh, at the moment, I think I'm the only councillor that's supporting the bid, uh, but, but, it, but, it, but it's a pleasure to do so, and I'm going to go into the council meeting in about 10 seconds' time, and I've got a question, I'm going to try and build support in the council chamber. So keep doing, keep doing what you're doing, keep up the struggle, keep working, we'll keep supporting you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have come to the end of our peaceful protest march. We have shown solidarity and unity to the council and to each other, the whole communities that we can all join together to stand up, get up and fight for our rights, to have, to have ourselves represented in this town with that mural. We will succeed. We have succeeded. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for taking part.